thank you very much. This is really very, very humbling to see all of these people here, all those exhibitors, and have uh, my senator come to, to uh, introduce me. I want to thank uh, ever so many people, my staff, the best staff, sorry Ben, the best staff on, <laughs> on Capitol Hill. Uh, and I want to thank the Fair Board, thank you for making this great facility available to us. Thank you to all the volunteers from my office and all the other volunteers and all the vendors who have come and all of the public who have come to make this a great, a great event. The other day I was talking to a uh, conservative radio talk show host uh, promoing this uh, uh, Go Green conference. And he said, gee, I thought from your voting record that you were a conservative, but what is this crazy green thing? He said, that's what, that's what radical left-wing wackos do. What's a conservative doing, doing this? You know, I started thinking about, you know, conservative and conservation. Aren't they the same root word? And I'm wondering, how did we get divorced in the past, the conservatives and the conservationists? What I hope we can do is to bring them back home, you know? They said, that this is the home for them. Conservatives are the home for conservationists. So thank you all very much for, for, uh, for joining us today. Back in a former life in the late 70s and early 80s, I was building passive solar homes. You can go through Thermont East and you can see them there. I built 41 of them there. What I wanted to do was to demonstrate, and I was then just as conservative uh, as I am today. I wanted to demonstrate that you could build a passive solar home and it would cost no more than a conventional home. You use the same materials, the same bricks and stone and framing lumber and so forth. You just build it differently. So we built 41 homes there. They were 1,400 square feet. And I sold them for less than $60,000 on the lot. Pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, they turned around and resold them in, in a couple of years and doubled their money. And I was very, very pleased that they, that they could do that. So I was focusing on this green thing. I, you know, as a scientist, I, uh, textbooks came over my desk. They hoped that I would... Uh, adopted for my class. So, and I would read in these new textbooks that came over my desk when I was teaching. And, you know, it was obvious to me then, this was, you know, 30 years ago, it was obvious to me then that gas and oil and coal were not infinite. They were finite. One day, one day they would run. I have no idea when that day would be, but one day they obviously will run out. And I was just curious as a scientist, when would that be? And so I would, you know, we can live really very well on very much less energy. The average European uses half the energy we use. And if you tour Europe, you'd be hard pressed to say that they're not as happy as Americans. And they use half the energy that, uh, that we use. So I think that, that going green is a conservative thing to do. I think it's the right thing to do. And by the way, one other thing. It may not mean much to some of you. It may mean a lot to others of you. I think that I am a, uh, an inheritor of that charge given to Adam in the Garden of Eden to dress and keep the earth, to dress and keep the garden. And so I want to do my small part in doing that. And thank you so much for coming today to help us promote this cause. Thank you very much.